Okay, now let us look at this question. The displacement uh, x of a particle in simple harmonic motion varies with time t according to this equation. Uh, x equal to 2 cos. Uh, this time it's a cos cosine equation. Okay, 2 pi t. Where x is in cm and t is in second. Uh, if you refer to the previous example, what's the difference? Uh, difference is just sine and cosine. Uh, yeah, last time is sine. Uh, this time is cosine. Uh, so the rest I think is the same. Amplitude is the same. Uh, omega, uh, omega also two pi is the same. Okay, never mind. Let us um, write down all all of that again. Okay. Um, the this is uh, the general equation for this one is a cosine uh, omega t. So um, the a is still two uh, omega is two pi. Okay, uh, the unit is centimeter. Yes, x is centimeter. Time is in second. Uh, be careful of that. So, uh, so the displacement is centimeter, amplitude is centimeter, time is second, uh, omega is per second. Right? I think that's it. And I think the omega also the same. Yeah, the same as before. So I can just copy this one. Um, yeah, just copy this one. Uh, okay, so the omega is still the same. Uh, one second. Okay, just compare with 2 pi over t, omega, 1 second. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, again, you must have a uh, 2 wavelength. Okay, remember to have 2 lambda or 2 wavelength. Okay, uh, so we must have at least 2 wavelength. So I need displacement time also, displacement time equation, uh, displacement time graph, velocity time graph acceleration time graph and that's why also i need velocity equation and acceleration equation okay now first of all let us write down the you know equation for displacement okay which is uh two cosine uh two pi t uh bracket so this is uh x equal to a uh cosine uh, ah, I don't want to write that again. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so, uh, so this is the maximum value. Okay, this is the maximum value. Uh, the period is uh, oh, the period is one second. Okay, from here we get. So this is the maximum value. Okay, uh, centimeter. Be careful, all centimeter. So labor, uh, labor like before. If displacement is centimeter. Then uh, all all follow centimeter. Uh, label the unit. Uh, label the unit. Velocity is centimeter per second. Then acceleration is uh, centimeter per second square. Okay. Uh, then time is in second. Say time is in second. So label as second. All the time must label the unit. Yeah, must label the unit. Okay, so um, and then you must label the value. Label the value. So what's the va what's the maximum value here? I got two. Uh, so I just label two is two centimeter. Okay, two centimeter, and here should be a uh, negative two. Right? Okay, understand? Negative two. Okay, so uh, it is a uh, what graph? What graph is this? It's a cosine graph. Uh, as a cosine graph, so okay. Wait, I haven't labeled the time axis. Must label also. Uh, I need two wavelength. So period. Uh, this is a uh, one second. Okay, one second. Uh, one period. Uh, and then two period, two second. Okay. Uh, this is actually considered one period. This is considered two period. Okay. And then the middle, this one should be uh, 1.5 and this, eh, no, 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 this is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0 this is uh, 1.5. I 
think that, that the, the period is the same for all, right? The period is the same for all. So let me write it down. Ah, okay. So I written down all the period, yeah, for all the axes. They are the same, right? They are the same. Uh, at least two period, two wavelength. Okay. Uh, so for displacement graph, uh, unlike before, uh, last time is a uh, sine graph, okay, because sine equation. This time is a uh, displacement is a cosine equation, so it's a cos graph. So it's a cos graph. So cos graph begins from from maximum. Uh, before I draw, I like to just put dot first, huh? because dot can help me. Yeah, I plot first. I plot the graph first before I draw. Uh, I like this method. Yeah, I like to plot first before I draw. Yeah, it can guide me. So uh, cosine graph uh, start from maximum. And then we'll complete one period. Uh, this is uh, from from here from here to here. This is one period. So I like to plot over here. Okay, one period. It should be over here. So uh, this one. Uh, uh, so start from here. Uh, after ninety degree, it should go to zero. And then uh, after half wavelength, go below. And then after uh, after that, become uh, zero again. And then back to the initial position okay and then uh, this is one period this is one period uh, okay ah, i like to plot first yeah and then uh, continue the same uh, this one is uh, one period uh, and then after 90 degree after go down and then go here uh, i like to plot first Plot can help you a lot. Plot before you draw. Ah, okay, done. So I already got uh, the cosine graph for uh, two period, two wavelength. Okay. Uh, so two is the maximum value. Yeah, two is the maximum value. Okay. Centimeter uh, is in centimeter. Uh, okay. And label that. This, is, this one is in centimeter. Now, uh, now I done with the graph. Uh, I have uh, the uh, symbol X and T. I have the unit CM and second. I have the label X, the value. Label the uh, label the time value. Uh, time label the time, the axis time axis. Catch the correct shape of graph. Uh, that's okay already. Okay, you must have all these things. Now, velocity time graph, I need to differentiate from displacement time graph. So, velocity is uh, dx over dt. So, I differentiate again. So, uh, first of all, I differentiate uh, outside. Uh, differentiate outside, I get differentiate cos, you get negative sign. You get negative sign, negative to sign. Uh, differentiate outside net cost you get negative sign and then uh, this one you rewrite just copy and then differentiate inside uh, now i differentiate inside i get 2 pi i get 2 pi uh, and then this one just multiply to the front okay and what do i get i get negative uh, 4 pi negative 4 pi sine uh, 2 pi t okay uh, so this uh, unit should be in uh, unit should be in centimeter per second okay centimeter per second uh, this is the maximum value 4 pi you see that the maximum value so i should label that also label the uh, maximum velocity maximum velocity is 4 pi and this one is negative 4 pi okay maximum value uh, this is a sine graph okay the time axis period is still the same as above and this is a sine sine graph okay sine graph so Oh, no, no, no. It's a negative sine graph. Ah, negative sine graph. So, 
uh, it should go below uh, opposite from the sign graph it's a negative sign graph so uh, I should start from here and then one period go back to same position for negative sign graph negative sign graph normally sign graph is going up isn't it but ne negative sign graph should go below uh, should go below all right okay uh, so it's not that one okay so how to draw I plot it go below negative sign graph uh, go to here then go back here and then go to here uh, label that so uh, I plot already I plot already uh, I can I plot already so I can draw and draw easily I like to plot first before I draw understand uh, Remember, follow the maximum value. Uh, don't go more than that. Uh, and then, do again the same thing for another wavelength. Another wavelength. Plot first. Okay, this one should go below here. Then go back to here. And then go to here. Uh, now, I plot already. I can draw easily. Uh, after I plot, I can draw easily. Uh, Okay, uh, this is a negative sign graph. I have successfully drawn it. Uh, okay, uh, so remember the peak follow the maximum value. Yeah, peak not more than that, not less than that. Uh, so this is a negative sign graph. Negative sign graph. Okay, done. Now for acceleration. So for acceleration. Uh, I need to differentiate from velocity graph. I need to differentiate from velocity equation uh, to get the acceleration. So acceleration is dv over dt. Uh, dv over dt. So um, differentiate. So uh, this is my velocity equation. Okay. So I differentiate from this one. Uh, negative 4 pi sine differentiate sine i get cos differentiate sine i get cos but here already got a negative sign uh, so i just rewrite the negative there negative 4 pi okay differentiate sine you get cos uh, no negative uh, no negative differentiate sine you just get cos just get cos no extra negative no extra negative uh, the negative here is or is originate from the the original negative uh, here already got negative so i just uh, write rewrite again the negative sign this negative this negative does not come from the sign yeah? it come uh, it come from original original place here negative here i just rewrite here yeah differentiate sign you just get cos no extra negative differentiate sign you just get cos Okay, and then, uh, yeah, differentiate outside, I get this. Okay, and then, uh, again, I rewrite the 2 pi t. And then, I differentiate inside. I differentiate inside, I get what? I get 2 pi. Ah, I get 2 pi. So, this one can multiply to the front. Uh, multiply to the front, what do I get again? What do I get? I get negative uh, 8 pi square uh, cosine uh, 2 pi t. Ah, okay. So, what's the maximum value? So, my maximum value is 8 pi square. What you need? What you need? Uh, centimeter per second square. Follow the displacement centimeter. Okay. Follow what is given. Centimeter. So my this uh, m, uh, maximum acceleration has the unit maximum acceleration has a unit centimeter per second square. Okay. Uh, so this is my acceleration. Uh, so okay, label the axis. Uh, label the y axis. So uh, eight pi square, eight pi square, and here is negative eight pi square. Time axis is still one second for one period. One second yeah, is the same as above. The same as above. It just differ by the y axis. Uh, yeah. Maximum displacement is two. Maximum velocity is four pi. Maximum acceleration is eight pi square. 
Our maximum acceleration is 8 pi square. Okay, so uh, after that, um, okay, uh, you can actually draw first uh, this one as a guide, but not more than this maximum value. Uh, this one also not not more than this maximum value. Okay. Uh, okay. So now, um, so okay. This what kind? What graph is this? Uh, this is the you need to draw what graph? It's a negative cost graph. Negative cost graph. Negative cost graph. Uh, that means it's opposite from the cosine graph. Uh, cosine graph is start from the the maximum here maximum at the top uh, it's a small phase if negative cost if negative cost then become inverted and uh, become inverted if cosine is start from above if negative cost start from below uh, start from below uh, okay start from below and then one period means go go to this position Okay, uh, and then uh, after that, 90 degree, 180 degree, uh, 270 degree. Uh, so this is, a, this is the negative cost graph. Okay, no, so I plot already. I like to plot first before I draw. I plot already. So I draw, I draw a negative cost graph. Negative cost graph. Okay, I have drawn a negative cost graph. Uh, another so another period uh, another period so I repeat the same thing I repeat the same thing I plot first before I draw I plot first before I draw ah okay I draw again I draw again yeah so simple yeah so uh, so fun to play with yeah ah so I get my negative cost graph Negative cost graph is opposite from cosine graph. Yeah, this is a positive cost. Positive cost graph. This is a negative cost graph. It's opposite. Yeah, and this is a negative sine graph. Okay, so uh, so that's it for uh for this. Uh, if displacement is cosine equation, uh, you just learn how to differentiate lah. Yeah, you must learn how to differentiate. Uh, very simple only how to differentiate huh? you, you this one is uh, you learn from mathematics how to differentiate the trigonometry equation differentiate use the chain rule you know the chain uh, how to differentiate is you use the chain rule uh, differentiation i hope you know how to differentiate this one you learn from mathematics uh, if you don't understand, ask your mathematics lecturer uh, how to differentiate using chain rule. Uh, okay, learn how to differentiate the trigonometry. Differentiate, differentiate cos, you get negative sign. Differentiate sign, you get cos. That's it. Uh, uh, differentiate the differentiate uh, with the sign, you get uh, cos. Uh, differentiate the differentiate the cosine you get a um, you get a, a negative sign remember this yeah differentiate sign get cos differentiate cos you get negative sign remember this you got extra negative here if you differentiate the cos differentiate cos you get a neg extra negative but if you differentiate sign you don't have extra negative okay i think that's all for these questions all right Thank you. See you in the next one.